Software testing course in details, QA engineer roadmap, and what do I do and how do I start my path as the QA engineer? All of these topics will be covered today. And even more, if you stick until the end, I will share how to get the biggest discount possible as the QA engineer. And also, I'm gonna talk about grants for international students from all over the world. And this is going to happen thanks to every single student of ours, like him, like her, like all of them. And by the way, you can see an entire playlist of the videos with our students right here or by following the link right below this video. They all usually call me before they sign up for the course and ask same simple question. What does the education look like in your bootcamp when we go through it? So today I'm going to clearly explain it to you guys so you would not ask me this question again. How does the course go? How it is set up? What are you going to do there? And what does your QA roadmap look like? But I will share this valuable information only with those kind people who have already subscribed to our channel and hit that big fat thumb up button below. All right, let's get started. First, and the most important, what happens before? Any career change starts with your decision. And when you guys make it, you can save a ton of time and money on your future job search. Do you know how to do it? Well, it's fairly easy. It's called pre-education or self-education before the course. When you guys make your mind, you can start learning things completely for free, even on this YouTube channel. By the way, you can see quite a few videos right there and we have over 170 videos at this moment that you can enjoy and they can actually explode your brains. But for those who want to go through it in a more structured way, I have prepared a pre-education section for all of our future students. And I encourage people to sign up for the course at least one month in advance so you guys could have your time with the pre-education section. So you could go through it on your own, in your own pace, without a rush and expectations, like I did 10 years ago. I thought I gonna be the dumbest person in a class since I was working on a farm and randomly decided to become a software QA engineer. So I started learning things on my own for the six months before the bootcamp. And guess what happened? I was actually one of the smartest people in the class when I went to the bootcamp because no one else had prepared for the course. Second and the most important, what's gonna happen during the course? Because this is going to be the biggest piece of this video as you guys are gonna do a lot of things during the course. You're gonna learn in hybrid mode education, which means that you are not only going to go through the live webinars with me and our mentors, just like this guy, by the way. His name is Far, and he's one of our mentors and a link to video with him and his success story is right there or right below this video. So hybrid mode education means that you're not only going to go through the live webinars, but also through a lot of recording materials. You might ask, why do I do that? Why not only live webinars? Well, I've tried it. I've literally did a lot of live webinars or face-to-face -face webinars with our students so they could learn things live from me. But the thing is, majority of the people, they don't even join the webinar. They say, well, I have kids, I have family, I have a reunion, I have a birthday, I'm sick, I don't know, I'm hungry. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. I didn't do fucking shit. I'm doing something else, but regardless, 70% of people most of the time do not even come for live webinars. That's exactly why I was like, why should I come for a live webinar if I can record all of those webinars and give it to you guys so you could watch them? And we're gonna spare this time, we're gonna save this time for the live webinars so we could discuss the materials that you have already went through. So hybrid mode education means you're gonna have a lot of live webinars, but you're gonna have majority of the videos already recorded so you could watch them on your own. But you might ask, well, what's gonna happen if I'm gonna get stuck? you will have us, our mentors and myself, in a chat, in a Slack chat, by the way, that you can ask questions anytime during the day because we have mentors throughout the world in a multiple continents, in a multiple time zones. So let's imagine you've just signed up for the course and today is our first day. So we're gonna have a one live webinar during the first day. It's going to be mostly introduction. I'm gonna tell you who am I, you're gonna meet your classmates and we're gonna have small groups up to 20 people because I care that you guys get enough attention from me. During the live webinar, webinars, you will not only be able to watch me, you will also be able to talk to me. And by the way, this is this might be a surprise for those people who took other boot camps with the hundreds of students where you can only message and hope that you're gonna get answers sometime. Regardless, 
live webinar, introduction. I'm going to tell you who am I. You're going to tell me who are you. We're going to meet each other. I'm going to explain quickly to you about the startup we're going to be working with. So starting from day one, you guys are going to be gaining experience from the US-based startup, which means you will have access to developers even the co-founders of the company, to product managers or product owners, regardless. You're going to have access to the sprint plannings, which are weekly meetings with a team. So you can see all of it in your own eyes and mainly you can put it on your resume and talk about it during the job search or the job interview, which is quite awesome, right? Okay, awesome. So we're going to have three of those live webinars per week. First one is always introduction. Then you're gonna get new section opened up on our platform with a lot of videos, books and articles. You're gonna go through it on your own whenever you have time because all of us have a different schedules regardless if you're working full-time or a part-time. You can do it anytime you want and if you have questions or you're blocked you simply ask it in a slack channel. Let's say you got stuck, you ask questions, you got an an almost instant answer from our mentors or an answer within the 10 to 20 minutes, you're moving forward. Then you are doing tasks for the startup you are working with. So you could fill that experience as you are working with a the startup. Then you're, let's say you're done with all of your tasks. You are sending a message in a channel saying, hey, I'm done with all of the homeworks week one. And our mentors or myself will take a look at it as soon as possible and will give you a response or feedback with all the details, what needs to be improved or what looks really awesome. Great. Then we're going to jump on the next webinar. Let's say first one was on Monday. Second one is going to be on Thursday. Thursday evening, most likely is going to be 7 or 6 or 7 p.m. by California, depending on the group. You can always ask me a message right below this video or you can send us an email at support at Cognify.com. So let's imagine the next webinar happening on Thursday. You're done with your homework. We're jumping on a call and we're going to go through Kahoot, which is a fun quiz game, as you can see right here. Usually people, people are enjoying it, just like Arthur. Link to his video will be right there and right below this video. That guy said... Those are like powerful because when it came time and I'd also studied, you know, Alex would tell me study uh, questions that you see online, be prepared. So then when you come in, you like, I answer those with confidence. And my, my manager, she was telling me that, you know, one of the big deciding factors was you interviewed so well. And when I looked at my other like other coworkers, I looked them up on LinkedIn. I honestly, yeah. I stalk everybody on LinkedIn. <laughs> but uh, they had more experience and it was granted, you know. Uh, but like being able to interview and being able to show my knowledge and I think being able to effectively communicate made the difference. So as you can see, Arthur did enjoy it and you will as well, I promise. Regardless, we're going to go through Kahoot. We're going to go through questions and answers regarding the homework. We're going to go through the questions and answers regarding the startup experience. And then we're going to get to my favorite part, which is live interview preparation during every single webinar, if we have time. Because you guys usually have a lot of questions. But the time is not limited to one hour. So usually we have three one-hour webinars, Monday, Thursday, and Saturday, depending on the group. But those are not limited. If you guys have more questions, I'll go for an hour and a half. I'll go for two hours. No problem at all. The question is, will you guys have enough capacity? Because based on my experience, usually people just run out of questions, run out of capacity, therefore won't sleep because they have gone through a lot of questions and answers and they literally want to take a nap. So no pressure, I'm there for you if you need me. And during the test automation course, we're going to do one more thing, which is my literally favorite. We're going to go through the live coding sessions where I'm going to ask you to write a code live and explain it to me in the most professional way possible of what you are doing to vocabularize your thoughts, to speak out your mind. That's what happens during the live coding sessions when you go for an ask that position, for the developer position or for the QA automation position. Sometimes they ask you to do live coding sessions and, and they want to hear how you guys Think. It's not like they want to see you doing the perfect code. No, they want to see you fail, but they want to see how you think, fail, and then how you fix that problem. They could even help you out. So by going through this course for five months and a half, you're going to go through a lot of weeks of education, a lot of interview preparations and live coding sessions. So by the end of the course, you would feel very and very confident about yourself during the interview. And by the way, aside of 
live interviews with me. You're going to do a lot of interviews between yourself, between the students, and you're going to share your experience and your thoughts about each other. And also, we're going to have exams with our mentors that you're going to go through. Those are going to be tough ones, and mine are kind of like easy peasy because I make you guys feel comfortable just like no. now. So, you're going to enjoy those, but just FYI, I'm going to do something that our marketing team told me not to do. You're going to go through 114 rounds of interview preparation if you go through the entire course, which means manual plus automation. It might sound scary, and that's actually why they told me not to share it, but still, I, I think that's helpful. I think you guys got to know that this is not something easy peasy, you pay 2k or 5k and I help you to get a job. No, no you're, you're gonna, gonna have, have to work, work your ass off. But I'm here to help you out and all the people who you can see on that screen or on that playlist right there have gone through it and they have succeeded. So you might as well if you work really hard. Actually, before we proceed, I think I forgot to tell you who am I. Let me quickly do that. My name is Sergey Kromchenko. I am a founder of Cognify QA Bootcamp. I've been in the world of QA for about 10 years. I worked as the QA engineer, lead manager, and a senior engineering manager of software developers in tests. I've been helping even DevOps to do their job sometimes in the several companies, but just because I like to dig into technical stuff. Let's say it that way. By the way, today I'm preaching and helping people like you to become a QA engineer from scratch or to improve your existing skills. Awesome, that was a good speech, let's continue. So, as I've mentioned, you're gonna go through 114 rounds of interview before you finish the course, you're gonna feel comfortable, so you're gonna be well prepared for an interview, we're gonna help you to prepare your resume, your LinkedIn profile, and we're gonna show you how and where to apply for the job. The only one thing you're gonna need to do is to actually apply for it and go through an interview. I would love to go through an interview instead of you, but unfortunately they will see that I am a Sergi and you're not, and then later they'll recognize you and fire you. We don't wanna do that, but when you're gonna be going through an interview, Hold on, this is the last part. Let's cut it off right here and continue with the part number three. What's gonna happen after you finish the course? After you finish the course, you're not going to be alone. We will not simply graduate and say goodbye to you. Thing number one, you have a lifetime membership in our code family group in a Telegram channel, link to which you will not find below because this is only for our graduates who have finished the course. So you will be in the code family chat where you can ask questions every single graduate you see on that screen and also in that playlist of all of our students reviews and you'll have access to me myself. So pretty much it's a gang of friends that you can ask questions anytime. If you go for an interview, you ask questions. If you have a coding challenge and you need help, you might simply ask, hey, can anyone jump on a call? Sometimes I jump on a call. Sometimes our students simply navigate to Comify.com. Link is going to be right there. And they just rent me for half an hour or an hour so I could help them pass that coding challenge. But regardless, you can always get help in that channel. And mainly, you're not gonna be left out. I'm gonna be hosting monthly webinars every single month to check on you guys with all of our graduates from the past. Regardless if you finished the course a year ago, five or six years ago, and regardless if you paid for a course or your name was Anthony and you studied completely for free because you were a friend of mine and the first student, you can still join a course and you can still learn new trends in the job search, new trends in the quality assurance, in automation. Sometimes I explain new materials and I do live webinars on a monthly basis and explain new topics, API testing, I don't know, Swagger, unit testing, it's other stuff like that. Even AI will come out soon. A lot of times our students who've just got a job offer jump over on these calls on live monthly webinars and they share their experiences going through an interview. And by the way, regarding the interview, that's literally my favorite part and mm, I'm not sure if I should share it, but just don't tell it to anyone, okay? All right, I'm gonna share it just with you. When you're gonna go through actual interview, when you're gonna be looking for a job, I will ask you to record an interview illegally and share it with me. So I could give you a feedback and tell you what did you do wrong? What could possibly be the reason of you not getting accepted for the job offer? But make sure not to share it with anyone. So this will help you guys to analyze, actually this will help you to get me to analyze your problems so you could get your job offer 
much faster. And now it is a time for us to talk about things I've promised to you. Biggest discounts and international student grants. So number one, the biggest discount you guys can get is a 25% regardless of your location, regardless of who you are, where you come from, etc. If you come with a friend, if you, you guys both will get 25% each. It total is 50% but combined. But each of you guys gets 25% discount. If the course price is 5,000, then you're gonna get what is it? $1,250 1, off of the price completely. And then if you split it into monthly payments, it's gonna be less than a thousand. Regardless, that is the biggest one you can get. The second biggest one is a 10% discount. That one is available for everyone who signs up a month in advance before the course starts. Actually, we're starting a new course in two or three weeks. So let me know if you guys are interested in a comment below. Sometimes we get like a Black Friday discount or a New Year discount, etc. Not always, but sometimes. And now, international students, all those who are abroad, regardless where you guys are, we have grants for you, available for international students or students, students not from the United States. And you guys can apply of them. Those grants can be small and they can be pretty large, I can say. And you guys can ask us if you are not located in the US, you can send us an email to support at comify.com to request a grant availability for your specific country. Make sure to send us your full name, phone number, and your actual physical address. It could be just a country and a city so we will know where you are. But just FYI, so we wouldn't get tricked by you guys. We're gonna be checking your citizenship when you apply it, if we give you a grant, because we have a quite a complicated process for it, but still, you can get it if you are an international student. All right, I think you guys got a lot of useful information and it is a time for you to give me some energy back by clicking that like button below by hitting the subscribe button and also by leaving a comment which is longer than a seven words because that's the way youtube kind of likes it better and that's how they will promote my channel better but regardless of the comments and likes and subscriptions make sure to get some good workout tonight and get a really good sleep before tomorrow because you're gonna have to work your ass off to make your life even better i'll see you next time